Hi, my name is Amit and I, along with my team, help a lot of Amazon sellers manage their Seller Central accounts. So I thought uh, it would be a good idea to, set, to make a couple of videos to help the Amazon seller community to set up two-step verification. By the way, if you're not aware, two-step verification is going to be the new norm wherein it will be required to log in to seller central accounts like the one which you can see right now and if you do not set up the two-step verification till 30th of june amazon is going to lock you out so without further ado let's get started we'll go to this url sellercentral.amazon.com punch in our our mobile number or email address punch in our password and hit sign in It may ask us for this kind of code. So let's quickly go to Gmail or I'll, I'll open my mail ID. <clears throat> Amazon, Amazon is becoming very, very sensitive about uh, login information, which we prefer being sellers at Amazon. And we don't have a lot of choice as well. Anyway, so 690-440. Pick it up from here, put it here, and hit continue. Okay, now that we are logged into our seller to my seller central account, I'll quickly show you. We'll go over here to the right top right settings and we'll go to login settings. Your menu may, may look a bit different, but you have to go to login settings. That's important. And over here at the very bottom, you can see left side, you can see advanced security settings. And we need to hit edit next to advanced security settings. Once you hit edit, it'll take you to this screen. Over here, it, it says two-step verification, get started. Okay, now, we've got two options to set up the two-step verification. One is using, we can do two-step ver verification using a text message, which may, we may receive on our mobile phone. And the second option is we may use an authenticator app. <clears throat> now, I personally do not prefer a text message for two reasons primarily. One is because uh, uh, if you're if you if you're if you live in a place wherein you have your your mobile network is is not as good in that case you're going to have difficulty receiving sms over there and sometimes sms take a lot, lot of time to do uh, to be received number one number two most more important is if you share the same login with other people for example with your wife with your business partner with your employee with anyone else in that case, every time that person has to log in, they'll have to call you so as to get the code which you received via SMS on your phone. So it is going to be difficult for everyone. So rather, I prefer an authenticator app. Yes, agreed. It will be a bit difficult uh, as compared to text message. But believe me, it is only the setup part. After that, it is going to be way easier than that. Okay, so let's let's go ahead. And, and as far as difficulty in setting up is concerned, I'm there for that. I'm going to help you. I've researched a lot about uh, how to set up Authenticator app. I've been using Authenticator apps for the past couple of years for different accounts. So I'm going to be your guru person to set this up. Okay, so let's get started. Without ado. Now what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to take this step on my mobile. And for that, even that video will be recorded. And the link for that is in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and see that video after you complete this video as well, which is the next one in the series, wherein I tell you which authenticator app to download, how to download, uh, and then how to set it up for, for using over here. But as of now, I'm going to use my, uh, my authenticator app to scan this barcode, which you can see on a screen. And once I scan it, it'll give me a code, which I'll have to put it over here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, scan the barcode. There we go. And that will be four seven eight three eight eight four seven eight three eight eight. Perfect code and continue. Yep, that's done. Now Amazon says what in case. Uh, 
uh, you you are not able to access your Google, your authenticator app okay in that case what we're going to do is we are going to set up a backup method this is mandatory so what i'm going to do is i'm set up uh, i'm going to set up a mobile number my mobile number as backup and they'll send me a code which i would want to receive via a voice call i'll set it up right now is call me now let's see how soon does amazon call us here they are you cannot request this call you may press the pound key to block future calls hello this is amazon verification service your code is six eight one Again, your code is six eight one six eight nine. Goodbye. Okay, that is done. And now, although it says almost done, but believe me, you are completely done. Yes, you should go through this this visual which is shown over here because this will tell you how to log in to your mobile device uh, when, whenever you're logging in to sell a central using a mobile device. How to do so? So please go through it. This is a very simple uh, thing, and you can you can just go through it yourself. Just just for your information, FYI. Now, a very interesting thing which we can see over here is over here. Don't require codes on this device. This is a, this is an amazing thing. Once you click it, uh, it is not going to ask for any further codes on this device. However, I'm not going to do that right now because uh, I want to show you how will it be whenever you enable it and and when you have to go in and log in. How will it look like okay so right now not going to take it but later on i will because this is this, this will take out all the hassle okay so i'll hit got it turn on two-step verification now there you go you have turned on two-step verification now what all have we done number one we have set up the the two-step verification uh using an authenticator app and number two we have enabled the two-step verification as well okay this is done now let me quickly show you how to log in how will it look like and how will you log in oops i need to log out okay here we go okay now you're back to seller central login page over here you put in your your email or your mobile number and put in your password and hit sign in now it will take us to the two-step verification screen Whenever we are here, we'll open the Authenticator app on our phone, which is what I did right now, and we'll see the code and punch it in. And in. Here we are. We've signed in. Now, we this is how we'll sign in using the two-step verification on, uh, our, on our Google, on our Authenticator app. Now, the next video is going to be how to set this up on your mobile all right see you later